here's a story that shows several important lessons. Always trust your gut when a woman thinks she has you. Be on the lookout for her to start pulling crap and the disrespect cannot be rewarded. At dinner, I felt something was off because the husband acted like he knew my fiance quite well. I thought it was because they lived in a small town and he was friends with her brother. So I didn't question anything. However, I told her I didn't want to have dinner with them again because they made me pay the bill. She replied, no, we won't have dinner with them anymore. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for being furious about the fact that my fiance set up a dinner to introduce her former friends with benefits and his wife to me without telling me who the guys really were. Let's begin the journey. He writes, Hi guys, thanks for reading this. First of all, I've been with my fiance for over two years. Now, we've had our ups and downs, but decided to spend our lives together. After she knew I would propose to her, she organized a dinner to introduce me to a friend of hers and her husband. When I asked who they were, she told me the wife was a dear friend. Slap to the back of the head. Two years? Guys, this is not your grandfather's world anymore. You need to give it a good four to five years to really get to know your woman. And the last year is when you allow her to move in as a trial run. You need to have the opportunity to observe her under all conditions, discover her gloriousness, and uncover where all the lies are. This takes time, patience, and vigilance. Most people can't maintain a facade for that long. And if you are paying attention, their true nature comes out or the inconsistencies in their stories begin to show. Don't be so desperate. Remember, women may control the keys to the bedroom. However, men control the keys to commitment and marriage. This is not about power or control games. This is solely about choosing wisely because if you don't, the family court systems will reward her misdeeds with cash and prizes. Strangely, I had never heard of her meeting up for dinner or coffee with that woman. Uh-huh. What did I just say about inconsistencies and in their stories begin to show? This is where a wise man goes, hmm, and pays attention. The only times I'd heard about them were when she attended their wedding and baby shower, and once when she visited the husband's shop for business. At the dinner, I felt something was off, because the husband acted like he knew my fiancé quite well. I thought it was because they lived in a small town, and he was friends with her brother, so I didn't question anything. Slap to the back of the head. Okay, lesson time, guys. Follow your instincts. Understand the distinction between primal caution and paranoia. Don't go running around like an emotional bitch accusing her of something every week when you have no hard proof. Punk-ass behavior like that will end up creating the very problem you seek to prevent. Practice stoicism. Play chess, not checkers. It's no different than laying in wait with a bow for that buck or the fish to bite. 
However, I told her I didn't want to have dinner with them again because they made me pay the bill. She replied, no, we don't have to meet them anymore. Now, that was interesting. Who invited whom to dinner? You said she organized a dinner, which in the West, unless something different is pre-negotiated, then the inviting couple pays the bill. By your comment, it would seem you were blindsided by your fiancé. In the comment section, give your thoughts on this, gentlemen. I'd like to see uh, what other people think. Months later, I happened to have her phone and looked into the WhatsApp. I searched for conversations mentioning the husband's name and found conversations from a year before she met me. I realized he was her former friends with benefits, and they even went on vacation together. After that, he chose his now wife and ended their situation. Oddly, some of her family members warned her not to be friends with that guy even after he was with his wife. My fiance still hung out with them despite her family's warning. There you go, guys. What did I say? You need to give it a good four to five years to really get to know your woman. I felt humiliated and disrespected that she didn't tell me who these people really were. I confronted her, but to this day, she still denies having had S-word fun with the guy. I don't know what to do anymore. Is this normal behavior? Everyone in her family blames me for being paranoid and psycho for being upset about it. Okay, first off, I'm sorry that this is happening especially to you, brother. No man, well, no decent man, deserved this. Next issue. Slap to the back of the head. That was for, I don't know what to do anymore, and everyone in her family blames me for being paranoid and psycho and being upset about it. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Buddy, I need you to look down between your legs like this, and is there a music band down there between your legs called Willie and the Twins? Time to cowboy up. Her family is shite. She is shite. And kick her ass to the curb. Look, she disrespected you. She lied to you. She gaslighted you. And you're asking what should you do? We teach people how to treat us. Guys, in the comments section, tell this brother what would happen if he married her. I'll make it simple. She'll cheat on you and chances are the kid or kids might not even be yours. Listen, if you are a guy who's in a situation like this, it's not going to get better. And if, you and if you find you can't walk away, then the problem is you. Oh, by the way, it also means you let a woman cut your nuts off. The moment she knew she had him, the full-on overt disrespect started. It was like, I got this guy now. I can do what I want, and he's so into me. He'll put up with anything to make me happy. After all, happy wife, happy life, right? Wrong. It's happy spouse, happy house, meaning it goes both ways. The fact she did this also means you were not her first choice. You were the guy she settled for who could be a decent provider and somebody that she could manipulate and control for the lifestyle. The moment the ex decides he wants to tap that ass, she will spread faster than a gazelle being chased by a cheetah on a caffeine high. 
Or maybe I could go with a Kardashian to a camera. Or faster than butter on a slice of hot toast. Anywho, it's over. It's done. You can't marry her. On the way out, make sure everyone knows what she did. If you have copies of the chat, make them public. Control the narrative. Don't let her do it because she will lie and make you out to be the bad guy, which you're not. Before you block her on everything, make sure that guy's wife knows the full story as well. Who knows what lies he's told her over the years as well. Take the time to self-reflect and find out what was it in you that you were attracted to such a person. Plus, what weak behaviors you engaged in so you don't do it again. In the comments section below, give this brother your thoughts on what you think he should do. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for stopping by and I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online and think I should cover it, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to grow this channel and community and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos. Give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my work with more people, and that support helps me make more videos for you.